Hey everybody, my name is Jeffrey, and this is Tessie, my girlfriend, my beautiful girlfriend. Um, we have been going through uh, a struggle in life, but uh, and we thought that instead of just keeping it to ourselves, we thought that we would share it to the world, and hopefully we could inspire, even if we just inspired one person and changed one person's life. This whole situation that we're going through would be worth it. So um, we're, we're gonna go uh, individually and explain our, our background, our lives, what we're going through, and Tessie's gonna start out, so. Hi, I'm Tessie. Um, I'm 33 years old and I'm a single mother. I have been diagnosed with cancer. It's not just any cancer, it's called rhabdomyosarcoma. It's a very rare cancer that was actually usually only found in children. Go figure that I would have a cancer for children. That's what I get for acting like a kid all the time, I guess. True, true, <laughs> very true. So um, there's less than 20 cases a year, usually all children, and somehow God has chosen me for this. I got diagnosed last week and I actually had premonitions about it this summer. I had these bumps that showed up on my neck earlier in May, towards the end of May, and they weren't quite this bad, but um, they were there, and my doctors did antibiotics and things like that to try to get rid of them, thinking it was just an infection. But once that didn't work, like I said, I started having dreams, premonitions, um, that I was gonna have cancer, and that God wanted me to use this opportunity to glorify Him. So I took a break and got supplemental insurance because I am a single mother and I work full time. And um, just with my past situation, um, I knew that I would be in trouble if I had a huge financial burden. So I took that break and I really thought it was gonna be something simple like thyroid cancer or something like that. But no, I am diagnosed with a very rare, aggressive cancer, rhabdomyosarcoma. And there's less than 9,000 sarcomas in the United States in a year. There's 50 different kinds. And my sarcoma, rhabdomyosarcoma, is actually one of the rarest of them all. And it's even rare for children and then throw that on top, I'm a 33-year-old female adult. And there's only 20 to 30 cases per year. Of my sarcoma. And, that and they're all children. And most they're most, of them are children. Yeah, and they're mostly boys. Um, so it's very rare, very bizarre. We actually got referred to a specialist here in Houston, Texas, which is where we are now. And I am 100% at peace um, with the situation and my confidence and my faith and my relationship with God. Um, I feel like he's chosen me to share this with everybody so that one, you can see how the experience goes and two, you can see that God does perform miracles and I hope that I know that I'm gonna be one of those. Um, I have an eight-year-old son who I love dearly. I just don't have any fear here. The only thing I fear is God, and I know he's on my side. So I'm excited to get to share this experience with you guys. And we also uh, want to share that just because uh, you might be faced with something extremely difficult in life doesn't mean that your life is over. Um, Tessie is one of the most caring, generous, thoughtful person, people I've ever met in my life. And when she was diagnosed with this disease, she didn't stop living life. She didn't stop smiling. She didn't stop loving other people. And we want to show that um, you can still live your life and you can still have fun and you can still do everything that you used to do before you were diagnosed with cancer or before um, you're in a, a car wreck or before just anything difficult or, or something almost unbearable overwhelming something very difficult to deal with it doesn't mean that your life is over and 
we want you all to come along for the ride. We want to show you. We're going to record every step of the way. We're going to show you everything that she's going Just through. Just because I've done some research on this and there's nothing out there. It's so rare that there's no research to, there's nobody to relate to. There's nothing out there for anybody. So I felt um, like it was my calling to share this with everybody. But that's not all. <laughs> Jeff, tell your story. I don't want to make this this uh, this video about me because it's it's more about testing what she's going through now because she's the the absolute love of my life and I don't know where I'd be today without her in my life. Um, so I'm just gonna make this short and sweet. I'm 33 years old. We were actually born 11 days apart. Um, we're both from Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, I'm, I'm not from, from Knoxville. Well. I'm mostly from Knoxville. She was, she lived all over the place, but um, she's lived in Knoxville for for a great while now. Um, I'm single. I've never been married. I have a little pit bull who is my son. She uh, sometimes gets jealous of, of the attention he gets. He but, treats his pit bull better than most people treat their children. Uh, no well, joke. he's he's, he's my, a great puppy. Though. He's my world. He's been through everything with me. Guys, I'm gonna share some stuff with you that. Um, I'm not going to share the full story just yet, but I will tell you that I almost died five times in 2016. Um, the first four I'm not going to tell you about just yet, and the next couple of videos, probably those will get shared, um, but I will definitely share them with you. But I will share one of them, and it's the most impactful one of my life. I was in a car wreck December 3rd of 2016. I was T-boned. Um, the lady was going 80 miles per hour. I was going two miles per hour. I was turning left and she slowed down to 60 and hit me in my door. When that happened, I severed my aorta, which is the biggest artery in your body. I um, lost 80% of my blood. I had to have a blood transfusion, almost bled to death. I, I bled internally. I had a, a brain injury, a brain bleed, a brain hemorrhage, a stroke. I crushed every bone in my left leg. I have metal throughout my left leg. I crushed ribs. I have a brachial plexus injury. I haven't moved my arm since the wreck, December 3rd, 2016. It's paralyzed. It's extremely painful. What happened was when I got T-bone, my neck went like that, which I don't remember the wreck whatsoever. Um, and, but this is what the doctors told me. And my nerves severed from my spine and that's why I cannot move my arm. Temporarily. Temporarily. I have faith in God that, number one, I have faith in God that, that he did this for a reason. He put me, in this wreck for a reason. And I didn't always know why until I got with Tessie and she was diagnosed with cancer because we truly believe that our story together was meant to be shared to the world. And we're meant to inspire people and show people that just because something bad happens in your life doesn't mean that your life is over with. Or doesn't mean that you need to choose to live in misery. Exactly. Because you can choose to live happy and joyful and blessed, which we all are here, especially in the United States. Um, and your quality of life is so amazing. And we know that there's going to be viewers outside the United States. And we know that, you know, you all might be going through hard times. And this video is for you all as well. I had a one in a thousand chance of living. And they said, if I did survive, I would probably lose my left arm. That's what they told my parents. He wasn't supposed to be able to walk either. Yeah, and they walking. didn't think I would ever walk again. I walked three months after my wreck, three or four months after my wreck. I was in the hospital for 70 days, and then I went to rehab for another month. 
So total about a hundred days I was in the hospital in um, rehab center. I've had one surgery on my arm. They took nerves from the back of my leg. I have a huge scar and they put it in my arm. I still have probably four or five more surgeries to go. So I'll be able to move my arm. I'm not gonna say, so I hopefully will be able to move my arm. I have faith in God that I will be able to move my arm. And even if I never move my arm, I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be alive. I shouldn't be here. The doctor said I shouldn't, I'm a miracle. And if I can be a miracle, guys, and if God can save me, then he can save my beautiful girlfriend, Tessie. And, and he will. And he will. And we, we both have faith in God that we were chosen so we could share this to the world and so we can inspire and uplift and uplift all of y'all and this channel is not going to just be our first off this isn't a sob story we don't want anyone to feel sorry for ourselves we just want to to share love and this isn't just going to be us falling testy through her through her treatments and stuff we're going to do daily vlogs and we're going to have fun and we're going to do crazy stuff we're going to we're gonna live life. We're gonna live life. We're, we're gonna live life, and we're gonna share it with you all. And we're mm -hmm. gonna show you that you can live life and have fun, just because you're struggling, or just because something bad happened in your life. Well, you can choose the peace that I have. You know, I'm having to be the support system for my family and friends right now, <laughs> because the peace that I have in my faith is substantial, and. Um, I know I'm going to be okay, and of course we welcome all happy thoughts and prayers that you can send to us, any recommendations or motivation or suggestions that you might have to help us along our journeys, but we do want to vlog, so feel free to follow us um, so that you can see, like Jeff said, that we're going to choose to enjoy this recovery process. I'm gonna spend time with my son. We're gonna make memories that last a lifetime. We're gonna be happy and joyful and not let the illness and the pain from chemo and traveling and the financial burden of what's about to happen, the stress from work, and all the things that really could come collapsing down on someone in a situation like this. It's just not gonna happen and we're gonna to choose to continue to be happy and live life with love and bless others and share those joyous experiences with you to hopefully uplift someone that might be going through something similar because it's so easy to be brought down to a to place where up. you feel yeah where you feel like you're not going to get out of it today I saw the specialist for the first time in Houston and he's not going to be my doctor he was a, a neck and uh, He's shoulders, a surgeon, but, yeah, oncologist, sur surgical oncologist, oncologist yeah. and I meet with um, a medical oncologist that specializes in sarcoma on Friday, but today, and I don't think he intentionally did this, but three or four different times he said, if you survive, if you survive, and I really feel like any person could have walked out of that office and completely just gave up. I just didn't feel that way. Like, I've been blessed with security and my faith, with a relationship with God to where I know I'm gonna survive. And I challenge you to follow and watch it happen. And then I get to be a miracle. <laughs> and I'm already a miracle. <laughs> Just like Jeff, so. And guys, guys, we this isn't gonna be a sad channel at all. We don't, we don't want this to be sad at all. We want this to be uplifting, fun. We're gonna do fun things. And we're just going to live our life. And we hope that you all will join us on our journey and laugh and... And, and enjoy life. And then just enjoy life. Because life is beautiful if you let it be. So guys, um, with that said, do you have anything else to add? I don't think so. We love you all. We hope that you follow us on, on our journey. And we hope that we can inspire you all. So... Till next time. Till next time. <laughs>